Today I am so pleased to have a friend of mine who is a sixth grade school teacher to read a few pages from Kate Sally Palmer's A Gracious Plenty. My great aunt May never got married. She never had children. She lived all by herself. She had a couch covered in horsehair that scratched when you sat on it wearing shorts. She had a small oil painting of a house in a pond. The painted house was reflected in the painted water. She had books everywhere. She had a wall full of books that she let us read whenever we wanted. She had pencils and pens and drawing paper that we could use if we asked. She had a bedroom fragrant with sweet-smelling powder and magnolia blossoms. She had real hairpins on her dresser and a silver brush and comb. She had a big, sunny kitchen with a tiny refrigerator and a tiny stove. She had dainty feet and wore modest, lace-up shoes with thick high heels, black in the winter, white in the summer. She had a doorbell that was too loud because she was hard of hearing. She had a bathtub with feet. She had a bottle of sherry wine and some little glasses just for guests. She had lots of letters to write, especially when we were at summer camp. She had dinner with us every Sunday after church. She had a nap every Sunday after dinner. She had my father, her nephew, to drive her to the doctor and to the store. She had a pretty wavy gray hair and a twinkly smile. She had to laugh the day my baby brother accidentally cussed at the dinner table. She had amazing things to tell us, all of them true. She had lots of people to miss her when she went away and to be glad when she came home. She had, she said, a gracious plenty. Thank you.